boys, the Oklahoma Sooners are two wins away from being your baseball national champs. It is a great day to be a Sooner. We're going to start off the show in a different order. A little mm. exciting. Ooh. We're going to start with Ooh. circling those wagons. Oh, we're going to start with Gans. We got to start top. from the top. We're recording this on Wednesday evening. So we just saw the Oklahoma Sooners knock off Texas AM for the second time, beat that butt. Mm. Oklahoma now awaits the winner of Arkansas and Ole Miss. We will find out who wins that game tomorrow. But Matt, take it away. Yeah, a lot of pressure, guys. Going first. I yeah. mean, that's a- <laughs> there you are. Time to shine, yeah. baby. I had no idea in the outline today that was going to be the case. So I appreciate you putting me on the spot, Mason. Guys, what year does it feel like to you guys? Because I'm feeling like it might be a feeling like 1994, boys. Feels like 94, uh, baby. I mean, last time you were born. Here I was born. I mean, it only makes sense. And the last time OU won a national baseball championship. And it's it's the exact same setup that happened in 94. It happened in 1951. Both times OU has gone to the College World Series and won the first two games. They've gone on to win the Natty Championship. I'm feeling good. How about you guys? What do you guys think of the World Series so far? OU, I want to get your thoughts on it before I hit in some stats. Can't get enough of the pitching, man. I can't get enough awesome. of the pitching. It's Very it's good. every starter seems like they're able to carry us six innings at least. And that's just something you don't see. I want to, I want to give credit to a couple of the guys who I'm a big baseball guy. I love baseball for Mark who, and I think you could agree to this. You're not a big baseball guy, but mm-hmm. you were locked in. You're locked into this run, and you know what's happening. I think that's kind of the effect that this team has on Sooner Nation is just because they are so exciting to watch. This is such a kind of improbable run that they've been on. They haven't lost back-to-back games since April. Insane. Like it's Crazy. it's it's Crazy. insane. It's so nuts. And there's so like Mark said, the pitching is fantastic. I love watching Peyton Graham just bat, to do everything. The dude. <laughs> He gets he has a multi-hit game every game. Yeah, it's it's done. it's insane to watch him swing a bat because you look at him and he doesn't look like he should be able to do anything athletically whatsoever. And he at steals bases, he fields well, he hits well, he's he's the whole package. I, I'm a big, big Peyton Graham fan. Yeah, I mean you mentioned Mark, you said it the pitching. It's just Sandlin, it's Jake Bennett, and it's Kate Horton. It's not just one guy. It's three starting pitchers. And what OU has done well is got the other team starting pitcher out quick. Yep. Getting a lot mm-hmm. of pitches, getting a lot multiple of pitches. pitchers. I think every team we face so far has gone at least two or three, even four or five pitchers deep. And we have starting pitchers who go to six and seven. And then we bring in our closer, Trevi and Michael, to close out the game. It is a absolute nasty. We were we, – we had gotten 70, 80-something pitches on their starter – through the fourth inning and just tons of pitches on that arm. And then, I mean, shout out to brother of our brother, Jacob Polish. (laughs) He really brought it to us today. And you notice we got what one run in maybe two runs in. I think one, I think he had, I think he had one earned run. Um, That was really good for him, man. He laid it out there and, uh, Obviously, shout out to us. We got it done. But that was it was a fun game to watch because once he came in, they were locked in too. Yeah, I thought it was an awesome game to watch. Uh, specifically, I just felt like we had control of the game the entire time. I was only nervous one time when they had a player on first and third. We had zero outs, and then Dustin Samlin just strikes out three guys in a row. I was like, all right, we have complete control here. He's totally in the zone. It's awesome. So super fun game to watch. Also, would love to mention that UT baseball sucks <laughs> and UT continues to suck. And I'm really glad that we also just wiped out the Aggies in two games easy. Always got to get in there, Pat, right? Yeah. Little horns, little horns down action. Horns Guys, got to give you the last. Go ahead, Jason. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's going to be an all SEC final, guys. I know. Like it, it really be. is. <laughs> really is. Like it should be. Like, like it should be. I. Yeah. I th- it just means more. So yeah, to to Mark's point about the the batting and like getting pitches on those opposing pitchers' arms, 
that's how OU has done so well is because they work those counts and they make the pitcher throw a lot of pitches, get walks when other teams are swinging it at strikes in the dirt like Texas A&M was doing today. There was multiple times that the commentators were for ESPN were talking about how the Texas A&M batters don't swing at pitches out of the zone. Somebody didn't tell Dustin Sandlin that because those dudes were swinging at balls in the dirt all day long. So either Dustin Sandlin is dealing some nasty ass stuff or, or the ESPN commentators didn't watch any baseball. And I think that's not the case. I think Dustin Sandlin was just that good. Guys, guys, his name is David. David point this david. out everyone's been saying justin david listeners got, are gonna call us out his i name know is david we know his name is david all right yeah we continue. do continue he <laughs> was he's painting the corners though man he is and he's right outside of uh, you know where the strike zone is on either side such that man there are balls that look like balls that they're calling strikes that mm-hmm. these guys aren't swinging on and then they're just thinking about it the next time too so a Yes, David Sandlin has been playing great. <laughs> that's a yeah. that's a tough look for well, us. I promise a, we all watched no. the game. I swear we did. No, Pat I swear started it off. Yeah, he I don't know why I started it off. He said it confidently, and Mason was like, "Yeah, that sounds right. Let's just oh, keep I know. diving in." <laughs> yeah, that's that that's called just I, blind listening. I I do want to touch on one thing with David. He um he played he they put him in for one inning against was it A and M previously? I believe first game. First mm-hmm. game. Yeah. They put him in for one in- inning, and he was terrible. He walked like four people in a row. Gave up four runs, too. Yeah, gave up four runs. And then came into this and had a chip on his shoulder and completely dominated. So, you know, he was fantastic. We got him through seven innings, which is even more than we got from, like, Horton in the past couple games where we got him through six. I mean, just super, super impressive by him. Go ahead, Matt, with your with your stats. I want to hear those yeah. stats that you have. Yeah, no, I just I – mean, it- it, there's a good balance, right, between hitting and pitching. And what OU does a really good job, job job of is jumping out early, right? The first inning of this game, we jump out to a 3 nothing lead, right? That only gives the pitchers more confidence that they got runs, they got insurance to be able to be able to deal just like Cade Horton and, and David Sandlin have done. So the last two games for Cade went six innings, only gave up five hits, two runs, 11 strikeouts. Today, the Sandman enters for redemption, just, just like Tyson said. Gives up four runs in that first game to AM, comes back this game against AM, seven innings, five hits, only one run, 12 strikeouts. That is an incredible stat line for two fantastic pitchers. They're going to need that going into the champ series against whoever they play. But the biggest thing is the offense is getting out to early leads, giving our pitchers way more confidence going into it. And you can just clearly see they are absolutely dealing. And with the, with the other games going on between Arkansas and Ole Miss, we, we don't know how that game's going to end. I think Arkansas is up right now. So if Arkansas wins on Wednesday night, that means they have another game on Thursday mm-hmm. to decide that bracket and OU will play the winner of Ole Miss and Arkansas. If you're Oklahoma, you want that. You want Arkansas to win tonight. You want play Ole Miss game. and Arkansas to th- – have to put more pitchers out there, have more innings on those arms because the way that OU's hitting right now, no pitching staff can contain them. They're they look so good and they're so locked in on the plate. Watching them in that first inning and that second inning was just something to behold because Texas the Texas AM pitcher couldn't do anything right. Just mm-hmm. nothing. It was amazing. That's, and that's exactly what happened with Notre Dame. That's exactly what happened with AM before them. I mean, this team has won 13 out of 15 um, in basically the postseason. Yeah. Like that is so impressive. And they're undefeated in Omaha. So they're going into the championship series on a high that, I mean, the only other team that can say that they're undefeated through this is Ole Miss. So we're going to see what happens through that. But, um, I don't know. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to to go to the bar with the Dallas Bros there you and go. Uh, check this out. So I'm excited. It's fun. It's Absolutely. Fun. Now, I just wanted to, to cap off one quick thing, a, a, a historic stat that I took a look at here earlier. And they mentioned it in the broadcast. The OU baseball team has the ability to achieve something no university has ever done, which is winning a softball national title and 
a baseball title wow. in the same exact year. There have been a couple of teams that have won softball, but then ended up losing in the championship. The last one was in 2011 when the UCLA women won softball, but the men lost baseball. So OU, not only baseball, but historically as a program, can be the first ones to achieve this historic feat. And they're hotter than any other team coming into that champ series. So whoever they got to play, Arkansas will miss. It's going to be a tough outing for either one of those teams.